What's going on everyone? My name is Machine Gun Hunt and welcome to another Destiny 2 video. Ba-da-da-ba-da-boomba. Random noises. Anyway, it's been a while since we made a video in this channel. I like to say welcome back. You know, been doing some weird adult stuff. Not that type of weird stuff, just continuing education for insurance licenses. But anyway, uh, today I'm just going to go ahead and give you a very simple tutorial because honestly people don't know more about this and I think it's going to be pretty useful especially for those of you who are solo players. So without further ado let's go ahead and get started and I will be talking about some other stuff after I explain to you this little tutorial. So without further ado let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys I'm going to show you the best place to farm kills with enemies uh, as a solo player. What you want to do is you want to go to the last wish raid and get to the well wisher. Once you get to the well wisher, enter this code on the screen right now. Once you get to the well wisher, you can simply start off with the Shang Chi encounter. Now, before you do the Shang Chi encounter, I recommend you go ahead and grab the chest first. You can literally get all the different types of armor and weapons you can get from this raid, with the exception of the thousand voices. Just go ahead and grab that chest, get your loot. And if you want to, go ahead and get started. Now, the best thing for this checkpoint is that you can just go ahead and do whatever you want here. If once you get the checkpoint, you can just simply leave and uh, do whatever you want. And if you want to farm later on, you can go ahead and, uh, you know, come back to it at another po point of time. So, this place is very simple to use. There's about 100 enemies or so for each encounter you use. And as soon as you kill everyone, you can just simply wipe by sending on one of the plates in order to continue with the encounter. Now, this place is very useful because of maybe three or four reasons. But mainly, the reason why I love this part is because it's not as difficult to get into this area in the raid solo rather than the Shattered Throne. Because a lot of times, you either have to be really good with the Shattered Throne and really just have loads of time. Or you can go to uh, LFG and go ahead and, you know, set yourself up and you can get this encounter. Now, yeah, I would agree that the Shattered Throne is a much better place to farm because there's unlimited enemies. However, it takes a little bit more time. Not also, not only that, you know, there's just some people who are more uh, socially, uh, you know, exaggerated and like uh, just afraid of humans altogether. So if I could find a... a place that's great rather than perfect and then I don't have to spend as much time or need as much people in order to get it and that's the best thing I could find right there so uh, what's the what's the best thing you could do with this uh, encounter oh I don't know you could farm for uh, you know catalysts you can uh, farm plenty of bounties like once you get this encounter you can get all your bounties from Banshee and you can literally complete everything within five minutes it's that easy uh, plus, there's a whole bunch of good, like, uh, you know, farmable places that you can get to in the Tangled Shores. So I think this is going to be the second best bet. What you can also do is, you can also farm for weapons as well as legendary shards with this activity too. What you could do is, you could simply equip a Banshee's uh, offer or Banshee's special for the ghosts. And you can get weapon telemetry. And every time you kill uh, go enemies with your special weapons you can get a uh, telemetry for your weapons and you can turn them in for banshee uh, it is a pretty slow process but you can literally uh, get about 100 of them within about hmm maybe within like five or ten minutes and you could basically have unlimited amounts of legendary shards and several other types of uh, you know materials in order to get your build set up which really is uh, a background thing. Uh, honestly, I only recommend that you do this if you're uh, getting uh, farming for bounties or really getting kills for catalysts. But it's a really good backup thing for, as well if you want to go ahead and take advantage of this farming strat. Now, am I saying this is the best place to farm? No, it's not the best place. Simply put, you can go ahead and do this place if you're in a rush or if you just simply don't want to talk to people. But I feel this is the best place as a solo player that you can go ahead and take advantage of. And uh, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> that's literally the tutorial. Um, we are going to live stream as soon as this video is going to pop up. Uh, we should be live streaming around 7 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time. We are playing some Final Fantasy VII Remake Intermission and maybe finishing off uh, that entire game altogether uh, just to complete the full circle of the game. 
and then maybe uh, on Saturday we're gonna go ahead and maybe live stream some Destiny 2 as well so really exciting stuff uh, there is some working I am working on some projects later on into the future really excited to tell you guys all about that but that's all I'm gonna say guys thank you guys for watching like comment subscribe share this video uh, and comment below on what's your favorite t type of ice cream thank you guys for watching God bless and remember be excellent to each other